All right, it's gonna be all strength today. So you do need a pair of heavy dumbbells and a pair of lighter dumbbells. Um, we are gonna be doing upper, upper, lower, and then we'll do an abdominal exercise at the very end. So we're moving down and up and all over the place today. So let's get you guys warmed up. Turn on your music if you need it. I wish I could. <laughs> and making sure you're all muted, perfect. All right, let's get it going. All right, so big windmills to start with. And take it back. And take it down to those toe touches in three, two, arms out, take it down. We're gonna take it down to our squat in three, two, squat it out. <laughs> Jordan's playing with her little stuffed snowman here. <laughs> Keep the shoulders back. We're gonna take step it through into our side lunge in three, two, step it out to the right, just to the right. All right, keep those shoulders back. Give me one more. And then to the left. <laughs> He's saying hi. Two more. Last one, back to that squat. We're gonna give me our walkouts to our side plank in three, two, legs are straight here, walk it out, hold it, side plank, walk it back in, stand it up, and let's go again, walk it out, side plank, other side, remember, drop those heels in your side plank, put your hip stacks on top of each other. Got two more. Right, keep those legs as straight as you can and that walk out. And take it back up. Then give me that lunge. Chest opener, pull it back. Keep rocking it out. Got two more. Last one. Take those knuckles up to your temples, tap your elbows together, open them nice and wide. Or squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up the chest. When you're bringing it forward, you're rounding those shoulders. Elbows tap together. And two more. Last one. Big arm circles, crisscross in the front. And take it back. And swing it up and let's get boogieing. All right, like I said, all strength today, two upper body, one lower body, one abdominal, all right? We're going 40 seconds, you only take it two times through. So your first one, you want your medium to your heavy, you're gonna give me our military press. So arms are at 90 degrees, press it straight up, back to at 90. All right, 40 seconds here, ready, ready. And let's rock and roll, military press. Your core is braced here, so you want to pull your belly button into your spine. Good. 
No arching that back. Halfway. Almost there, almost there. One more. And bring it down, nice job. All right, you have your bicep curl next. All right, we all know that one right here. Just basic moves today. Ready, ready, and let's go. Curl them out. Make sure that weight comes all the way to the shoulder, all the way to hip line. Full range of motion on this one. Almost there. Ten seconds less on that curl. One more. And time. Nice job. All right, I'm going to switch to my heavy. You have your sumo squat next. So feet are turned out, shoulders back. We're squatting straight down, straight back up. And let's rock and roll. Now our knees are checking out towards those pinky toes. Get the shoulders back. We're halfway. Then we keep those heels down. Drive through those legs. Ten seconds. One more, and time. All right, you have a leg lift, flat pullover next. So one heavy weight, ideal. Taking it down, legs and arms straight. We all know this one, it's one of my favorites. I'm bringing it up. Ready, ready, and let's go. Remember, heels may not touch the floor. They come to that hover. If you need the option, legs at 90. Pull in here instead. And breathe. Exhale as you come up. Almost there. You got three, two, roll it up. Let's do it all again. Military press. Arms up. And let's go. Or if you need to, take the offset stance. We're halfway. Under 10 seconds. Keep pressing it. One more. And time. Nice job. All right, set yourself up for your bicep curl. Ready, ready. And let's go. Rock and roll it. Keep those shoulders back. Be sure we're not popping that chest. And continue with that full range of motion. Almost there. Remember with those last couple of rows to be heavy. If they're not, you need to go up. One more, and time, nice job. All right, sumo squat, set it up. 
or his back. Heavy weights for sure. And let's go. Mirror squat straight down. Knees are up wide. Mine are cracking a little bit. <laughs> you got 15 seconds here. One more. And time. All right. Last round. Leg lift up, pull over. Take it down. Ready. And let's go. Remember, don't touch those heels down. They hover as low as you can without letting that lower back come up. Almost there. You got three, two, and done. Nice work. All right, rest time. We'll move on to our next step. We're gonna start with your upright rows. So you definitely want your heavier weight for that one. We're pulling straight up, right back down, all right? We are gonna be going into your lat, alternating lat front raise, so make sure you have your light weights nearby. You'll want them for that one. All right, we got about 10 seconds. So upright rows to start. Heavy weights up. And let's go. Our shoulders stay back. Pulling straight to the chest. Elbows up and out, no rotation in that wrist. By now, I want it to feel challenging. If it doesn't, you need to go up and wait. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> One more. And heavy weight down. Switch your lighters. And we're alternating front lat raise, which keeps switching it. Ready, ready, weights up. And let's go. Our arms are straight here. If you need to bend them, your weights are too heavy. You can always do this one with no weights as, as well. Lifting just up to shoulder level. We're not twisting that chest. We tend to come here in this move. Make sure you keep your chest forward. Almost there. Last one, and bring it down. All right, with the heavy weights back in your hand, we have a static lunge. Your right leg's gonna start. You're gonna bring it down and release it up. Ready, ready, take it back. And let's go. So bring it down, push straight up in those legs. Try to be pointing forward. Shoulder stacks on top of those hips. We're staying on this side. That front knee, make sure you track it out towards your pinky toe. Almost there. Maybe one more. And time. All right. Lose one weight. Taking it down. Weight at chest level. You got your set up to rotation. You're going to sit it up. Rotate to the right. Back down. Sit up. Rotate to the left. Ready, ready. And let's go. Let's go. 
She can keep alternating through. You know that option, crunch, twist, crunch, twist. Not gonna get as much of a range of motion on that twist. That's okay. Almost there. Keep that weight at chest level. Not twisting it. And rest. All right, bring it up. Back through one more time. Upright rows. And let's go. Pull them up. Remember, shoulders are back here. The cat is right underneath the computer, so <laughs> hopefully Jordan doesn't knock it over. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> you have 10 seconds. One more, one more. And heavy weights down. Light weights up. Alternating raises. Ready, shoulders back. And let's go. Pull them up. Remember, don't swing the weight. You're lifting it, pulling it back down. Lifting it. Pulling it back down. Almost there. One more. And time. All right, so jump back to your heavy. Our left leg is obviously going back this time. Keeping ourselves even. Toes are forward, shoulders back, and let's go. Take them down. Make sure you keep your eyes up. Get low as you can. Let the leg feel it. You got 10 seconds. One more. And time. All right, lose one. Bring it down. Set up rotation. <clears throat> and let's go. Remember, weight stays at chest. You're not bringing it down by your side. You're twisting through those obliques. Got 15 seconds. <laughs> Got 15 seconds here. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> You got three, two, and time. Nice work. All right, take it up. Rest, hydrate, hydrate. I always wait for her to like hit a button and stop recording or shut it down. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be working on your tricep kickbacks next. So medium to heavy on this one. And my arms are at 90 degrees. Hinge it, back is flat. We're squeezing it through, all right? And we're gonna go straight into a V curl. Those are those outside. So once again, medium to heavy on that one as well. All right, here's say it. We got five seconds. Weights up, tricep kick backs. And let's go, rock and roll. And our elbows are tight in. Have neutral with that spine. Or squeeze them, don't swing them. Got 
10 seconds left. One more. And time. All right, so to mount if you need to, outside curls. So palms will be facing away from those thighs. I'm pulling it up in that V. I'm ready. And let's go. So remember, we don't want to rest our elbows here. They want to have a little air in between you and your body. We're halfway. Last 10 seconds. One more, one more. And time. All right, so if you need to, switch out to your heavy dumbbells. You're gonna give me an iso squat calf raise. So you're gonna hold that squat down and you're raising up those heels in that calf raise. I'll go sideways. Ready, ready. Now let's go. So take it down, hold it, raise it up. Weights are just there for extra resistance to make it just a little bit harder. Keep the shoulders back. Your quads just start screaming at you. Your calves start screaming at you. I know you have 10 tiny seconds left. That's it. Got three, two, woo, and done. I'm gonna switch out to one of my mediums. You have a single leg V up now. So weight's gonna go over top of the head. Legs are straight. Stand it up. Take it one leg at a time. And let's go. Option here, you're crunching it in. Remember, control yourself back down. You can't keep those arms straight. Almost there. Yeah, three, two, and bring it up. All right, back to our tricep kickbacks. Ready, weights up. And let's go. Your elbows are tight here. Head switch with that spine. Way. Just keep squeezing them. You got three, two, and bring it up. All right, V curls. Switch out those weights to those mediums if you need to. Ready? Let's go. Curl them out. Remember, all the way up to our shoulders, all the way back down that hip line. Open up that arm. We got 15 seconds here. Almost there, almost there. Give me one more. And weights down. All right, switch them out to your heavies unless you're already using them. <laughs> you that ISO squat calf raise. Ready, roll the shoulders back, chest up, bring it down, hold it, and let's go. Keep squeezing our shoulder blades together. 
And so it's going to want to naturally bring them forward. You've got to pull it back, find that tension point. Woo! Almost there. You won't get to do these again. So stay with it. You got three, two, and weight down. Nice work. All right, I'm gonna switch it back to my medium. Single leg like V ups. Ready. And let's do it. Try to bring that weight all the way to that toe. Got 15 seconds. Last one. And rest. All right, bring it up. Hydrate, hydrate, shake it out, whatever you need. I need a fan down here is what I need. <laughs> it gets hot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a hammer curl to a front punch press. All right, so we're not actually like punching it, but. So I would suggest your medium, your light to medium for this one. So palms are facing towards each other. You're gonna hammer curl, hold it, punch it forward, then bring it back down. So once again, hammer curl, hold it, punch it forward, bring it back down. All right, right after that, we are gonna be rocking out a balance overhead tricep, so I would like you on one of your heavies for that. All right, weights up, light to medium for this one, and let's go. So hammer curl in, hold it, punch it forward, back down. Keep your core tight here. Don't swing that weight down, that hammer curl, keep the tension. You are halfway. Under 10. You got three, two, and rest. All right, so Jeanette, one of your heavies. We're gonna pick our right leg to stand on, to bring up first, so standing on that left. Elbows in, give it the overhead tricep, ready, and let's go. So if you need to, little kick stand down, it's cool. Get those elbows tight in, extend that weight all the way up. If you get wibbly wobbly, it's okay. Top it down, then bring it back up. I keep losing mine. <laughs> there we go. We got three, two, bring it down. Nice work. All right, keep that hand on your right. You're gonna be stepping it out to your left in that lateral lunge. Ready, ready, weights in right, stepping left, and let's go. We're staying on this side. Remember, shoulders are back. You're pulling those glutes behind that heel. Right now, that right leg should be really nice and straight. Toes are pointing forward. And don't rotate those heels up, so feet stay flat. Under 10. One more, and time. All right, bring it down. Grab your other heavy weight. Now give me a chest press kick out. So legs at 90, arms straight up, palms are facing towards your hip line. You're gonna press out as you extend those legs out. And let's go. So extend out, push back in. Those legs never come in here. Not here, to 90. Keep 
Keep that belly button down. Lower back is pressed into your mat. Almost there. One more. And time. Nice job. Roll it all up. Let's do it all again. Hammer curl to that front punch. Press. Ready, ready. And let's go. Keep your shoulders back. You're going to want to fall forward here. Fifteen little seconds. Almost there. We have one more. And time. All right, so down to your one heavy. Left leg is up this time. Over our tricep. And let's go. Left leg is up. Remember again, brace that core, helps with that balance. Stop bending that standing leg. And squeeze at the top. We got 10 seconds. You got three. Two, bring it down. Weights in your left hand, stepping out to the right this time. Ready, and let's go. All right, keep the shoulders back. Step it out as wide as you can. Almost there. Five little seconds. So last one. And let's bring it down. Chest press kick out. Ready. Arms up. Legs at 90. And let's go. Now breathe through this one. Send those legs out as far as you can. Keep breathing it out. You got it. Last one, and time to start. Roll it up. We got one more set in us. All right, we're gonna be doing those full front raises. All right, so definitely light weights here. Arms are straight up. You're gonna alternate. So you're gonna bring that right arm down. Pull it up, left arm down, pull it up. All right, light, light, light. If you don't have light, 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 go body weight. All right, last round, let's go, weights up. And let's rock and roll, arms straight up. Bring it down, raise it, other side. Try not to take too long of a pause at the top. The moment that weight goes up, you release the other one. And relax those shoulders away from your ears. They're going to want to start hunching up. 10 little seconds here. Give me 
one more and switch them out. All right, you want medium to heavy next. We have our back fly. So we hinge it down, palms are facing toward, fly now, arms are bent. Ready, ready, and let's go. So remember in this position, we're not here. Roll that hip frame in, pull it nice and tight. Squeeze through those shoulders. Open up that back. Almost there. We're gonna keep your medium to light, I mean medium to heavy in your hands for your next ones. So whatever you're flying with, you should stay, stay with for your next legs. Almost there. Last one. And bring it up. All right, I want weights at chest, elbows are in. I'm gonna give you this alternating curtsy lunge. We are definitely alternating this one out. Ready, ready, and let's go. Bring it down to the side. Weight stay at chest. Really get as low as you can. You guys keep working it. Clear my space. Urge. 10 seconds here. Last one. And weight down. All right, we're gonna rock out those walkout push ups. So straight legs here. Walk it out. Push up. You know the drill. Walk it back up. Take it to your knees if you need to. And let's go. Walk it. Take it down to your knees if you need to. And pop it back up. Your core is tight here. Hips are not falling. You are close. 10 seconds. You got three, two, and rest. All right, pop it back up. This is it. One more time through. Those light weights, full front raise. And let's go. Remember, this is a really good one if we need to. Take that offset stance. If you tend to have lower back issues, you probably want to be there. Already halfway. Just a couple more. Keep those arms straight. Last one. And time. Nice work. All right, so it's out. Do it a little bit heavier, medium to heavy here. Ready, ready, and let's get back fly. So once you think about open up that chest as well. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together. We're not popping that chest up. Got 15 little seconds. Last one, and rest. Woo. All right, curtsy lunge, alternating. Weights at chest, elbows out, and let's go. Really concentrate on low here. Your shoulders back. Don't start leaning forward in that leg. Ten. 
10 seconds. Woo. One more, one more. And weights down. All right, this is it. Finish line. Walk out push ups. Ready. And let's go. 40 seconds left to work. Focus on that form. Strong reps. You're halfway. Let's get one more in there. And time. Whew. All right. By fast. <laughs> All right, we get to stretch it out. All right, take a nice deep breath. Place those fingers up and over, over to the right. Let's take a little gaze down to our right hip. And then bring it up, release your right arm, your left comes to it, and pull it. Here. And bring it back up. Let's bring it up the other side to the left. Take that gaze down. And up, drop that hand, pull it over to the right hip. And then release it, swing it out, even that right arm straight across. Up and back. Open up that chest as well, pulling those hands down. And release it, swing it up, other side, straight across. And up and back. And swing it out. Give me that quad stretch, right leg up. And we're heel to glute. Pull it in nice and tight. And just swing it forward, cross it over, take it down. And all those exhales, pull a little bit closer. And roll it on up. Give it another side, call it stretch, left leg. Take it, cross it over. Roll it on up. Take a nice deep heel up. Exhale out. And you are done. Awesome work today. I hope you're a little bit sore tomorrow. <laughs>